Today's video is sponsored by KEH Camera. Today we're not gonna be talking about cameras or lenses or anything like that. We're gonna talk about gear that grows with you. And what I mean by that is gear that no matter what it is you shoot, whether it's photo or video, uh, no matter if it's just a hobby or your career, this is stuff that you can buy once and it should last you years, if not a lifetime. So as you upgrade lenses and cameras, because even if you're not a gearhead, those are typically the things that people are most often upgrading because the cameras or the lenses themselves, they'll just start to wear down and they need to be upgraded or just as technology advances and you see something better. As your kit changes, this is stuff that's gonna grow with you it doesn't matter what it is you're shooting, it's always gonna be useful. Number one, the C-Stand. This is one of the most useful things you can possibly buy, whether you're a photographer, cinematographer, whether you need to mount lighting, a camera, a microphone, a reflector, a flag. There are so many different things you can use a C-Stand for, and they're made extremely well, so they're not like your typical cheap and thin and lightweight light stands. This is something that can actually withstand a lot of use and a lot of abuse as well. For years, I used those just cheap black aluminum light stands that were really lightweight and really portable. But over time, those things have worn down on me over and over again. And with a heavier lighting setup or depending on what it is I'm mounting, having something like this that's made extremely well, that's really solid, it's definitely worth the investment. They come in a number of different sizes. I have a full size right here along with this full size grip arm. I also have a small one that I use to mount my microphone when I'm filming videos so it's just out of frame and doesn't take up too much space. There are all kinds of different brands and styles of C-Stands out there, but make sure that if you get a C-Stand, you're actually using it properly. I'm not a stickler about many things, but I see videos and photos of people with their C-Stands all of the time and it's not set up properly. And it's not just a nitpick thing, it's a safety thing. Make sure that whatever it is you're mounting, even if it's something that isn't really heavy, make sure that's placed over the tallest leg on the C-Stand because that's gonna be the most stable. Not only that, make sure you use a sandbag over the tallest leg so it's not sagging and dragging along the floor. That way it's actually using gravity and holding the light stand down. And last but not least, if you're using a grip arm and you have something heavy or even something lightweight, it's just good practice no matter what weight it is. Make sure the knuckle on the grip arm is on the right side so that as gravity does its thing and it's pulling the object that you have mounted down, it's only gonna continue to tighten it and make it more secure. If you do it the other way, as as gravity pulls down, it's gonna loosen that knuckle. This thing is gonna come crashing down either on somebody or it's going to break something and that's never good. So C-Stand etiquette, there are a number of different videos out there. I will link a couple of my favorites below. Just take the time to study that and learn it. You will save yourself in the long run. Next up, a good hard case. These are Pelican cases. There's a number of different brands that make hard cases. I personally have always used Pelican cases. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. It's just what I can recommend because I've actually used it. These things are my favorite way to carry and haul any of my gear. I'm sort of a camera bag nerd. I love all of the different camera bags, but a Pelican case is just a simple but solid way of hauling everything to keep everything super secure. I have the 1485 right here, which basically holds my entire photo kit for pretty much anything I would possibly need to shoot. The Trek Pack divider system is amazing. It makes my OCD heart very, very happy, and uh, these things can take a beating. I've got two kids. They like to climb on these. Anytime these are at home, they'll climb on them tip them over, jump off of them. I never have to worry about anything and it's just great. I also have the 1510 which has wheels and an extending handle so it's carry-on friendly so I've taken that on dozens of different flights all over the U.S. It's always held up great. I've never had issues with it and right now I kind of have that set up to hold all of my video gear so no matter where I am if I'm shooting video it has pretty much everything I would need outside of you know some light setups and light stands. Putting pretty much all of my photo gear in one case the fact that it all fits in this one case is really great, but I don't have to worry about what camera am I gonna grab today, which camera bag do I then need to grab to fit said camera that I choose. Everything fits in this one case, so no matter where I'm going, I just grab this case, throw it in the truck, and I'm good to go. And last but not least, we have something that is really simple, and that's just an Apple box. This is literally just a wooden box. There is no trick to it, no extra feature or anything. It's 
it's just a box and you can't even put stuff in it. But you can put stuff on it. This is one of the most useful things. I'm sitting on one right now. An Apple box, you see these all the time on film sets, in studios. Um, they are used for a number of different things. There are so many different uses for Apple boxes. You can have your talent if you're photographing or filming somebody, if you need them to have a place to sit. Maybe you need to kind of level out a, you know, a group portrait and you need to have people lift it a little bit. You can set it down this way. People can stand on it. Even in a studio setting, if you need your subject to be able to lean on something for different posing um, or just really practical things. If you're on set and you need to have a light mounted just a little bit higher, if you had three of these and set them out and put your C-stand on top of that, they have different sizes. This is a full size Apple box, but honestly, it seems like something so simple, but once you buy one, you will find a number of different uses for it. And again, they are built to last. These belong to a studio for a really long time, so they've stained them and they've got a lot of wear and tear, but they still serve their purpose because it's just a wooden box. So yeah, Apple boxes, you will find a use for it no matter what. And those are just a few things that anybody, no matter what it is you shoot, no matter what your skill level is, investing in stuff like this that will actually last you a really long time, if not a lifetime, it's always a good option. And the fact that you can buy it used makes it even better, which if you weren't already aware, our sponsor today, KEH, they not only stock cameras and lenses and stuff like that. With gear that's tough and made to last like this, it's an even better reason to buy used when you can to save you some money. And as we all know, with KEH is great system they are the number one place to buy used gear they have a really conservative grading system so even if you buy something that is listed that it's not in the best shape it's still gonna be really good when you get it and of course if you have any gear like this that you no longer use they also buy used gear as well so maybe clear out some extra space get yourself a little bit more spending money or just use it to pay the bills you know be responsible. So if you want to pick any of this stuff up, definitely check out KEH using the links and codes down below. Big shout out to KEH for sponsoring this video. And let me know what you guys think about any of this stuff. If you have any other things that you would recommend, kind of gear that grows with you, stuff that you buy once and you usually never have to buy again, let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for today. Love you guys. I'll see you next time.